Hello. I hope this message finds you all well. It is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. The journey of Jana Duggar begins. Travel to Nebraska. I'm not sure whether that's is indeed the place she is traveling to, but she, soon to relocate to Lincoln, Nebraska, and she'll be leaving Jim behind Bob Dunderhead and the Duggar family for the initial, her whole 34-year lifespan, it's, considering the reality that this lady had spent her whole life on a little piece of land, not for the rest of her life, but for a significant part of her life on the more than 20, the area that the Duggars call home, Tun Town are just across highway near an abandoned dump, there have been many pieces detailing the unpleasant. The Duggars own a substantial amount of two parcels of land situated side by side, of which exceeds 20 acres, followed by even another. On the other side of the street, Jana has 40 acres. To start over in Lincoln, relocation site Realtor.com just got a hold of Nebraska about the home, as well as other details. I already said that I would not be about the residence, but now we proceed. Reason being, the real estate agent can provide you with more information. Here is the link to the public article. Their viewpoint in essence, Tun Town, situated in the northwest region of Arkansas, near Lincoln, approximately six and a half hours away, facing north about 430 miles distant. Thus this will surely not constitute a when it is convenient for her to return to Tun. Visiting her parents and brother John in town certainly has access to an aircraft, allowing him to visit. She and the flight aren't that far apart. Since there is just a six and a half hour lag, travel, but it will be a lengthy, Jana is experiencing cultural shock due to her journeying northward into the heart of the Midwest. The temperature is expected to drop somewhat. It's going to be she who becomes the Duggar. Inhabits the most northern region, okay? I understand that to be. Alternative wild Duggars that have departed from claimant Justin, who lives in, he continued southward from Texas, eh, who relocated to Laredo, Texas, and Ginger, subsequently relocated to the Angel City. Jana will stand alone like a Duggar and a Northerner. This region of America, I would not definitely dial the number for Nebraska Northern, but she's about to experience an unpleasant spring awakening in relation to winter since. It snows more often in Nebraska than in what she probably experienced in Arkansas. Snow and ice fall over Arkansas, but the, the snowfall Lincoln may expect, she's relocating to live with her spouse, Hey Stephen. As stated in the article that was published on Realty website, in fact, Stephen purchased a dwelling that is, he paid 2,152 feet for the house. June 2023, $275,000 before Jana and he becoming engaged and, in fact, prior to there, to the point when they re-established contact. Jana claims that Stephen and she brought back in touch early this year and the connection accelerated dramatically after handwritten letters were exchanged between them. Settled on tying the knot, this residence is in a ranch-style house and is is complete and the primary living space now boasts floor, two light-filled windows, and the kitchen and eating area. There are three bedrooms located on the upper level, level, while the other two are situated in a cellar, a laundry room, and what is also going to be the second bathroom, unique compared to her Arkansas option. Individuals residing in Nebraska typically include basements, and this particular house has basement, preventing them from need to get a price for a storm shelter, just like they are now doing in Arkansas. A few Arkansans own basements. Nonetheless, the frequency decreases as you reach. As you go north, you'll begin to see more in reduced basement space due to frost lines and eh? due to the absence of water lines that who are you messing with down in the basement? Two bedrooms, a living room, and an additional restroom yard is completely secure enough to prevent children from running amok. Rest assured, Plus, there's an enormous shed for storing your belongings. With a two-car garage, it is assuredly, definitely not on 20 acres and as large as the residence of the thief. But at the, simultaneously, it surpasses the, Jim Bob had her in a small shed. During the last several years as a resident, after being expelled from the dwelling and was residing in this little, little tent next to their soccer field, on the patio, as well as a basketball court, 
inside the Duggars' house where she had been staying. Living with the Duggars was, again, this house is around 7,000 square feet. Not a brand new house, but it is 2,100 square feet. In any case, and it seems as though, their goal is to improve the kitchen. It seems like the cabinets might need some. Modernizing the appearance of the kitchen island, the flooring could need an upgrade. Are really charming, they seem to be wood, laminate, or both, and there is floor coverings throughout the whole home. By alone isn't comparable to a huge palatial estate, however, it is in fact far more pleasant, more so than in other locations where she has relatives are residing in. When you compare a few of the siblings, such as John, who is her twin, continue to resides in a mobile home on the land, deeded to by his folks, the Duggars, possess Jed, who lives in a treehouse, and Jason, fills a 2,100 square foot, the property's 2,200 square foot houses once more, at the dealership where Jim, Bob, and Jeremiah work, I have no idea where he resides, he may, may still be living in an RV, but he may possibly be, residing at the former residence of Jessa, removed from the land she had a stake in, together her spouse Ben, the residence that Josh, I'm not sure whether it's still their current residence, however Anna and her family did relocate from that house to one just across the street from, Josiah, the Duggars of Tun Town, self-constructed his home, Joel lives in a log home, the place where Mary used to live, Duggar, I believe that Justin, her brother, and Claire resides at the lower level of her home of a parent or maybe in a mobile home, close to their home, making this particular residence far better than the way some sister is still alive among her sibling. The home that Jill owns would be somewhat over and above what Ginger and Jeremy have already sunk $1.9 million into a house that they bought from the owner. They have a seminary budget of around $1.40 or loan of $1.5 million less than initially, I was taken aback. I had anticipated that they would be leasing homes derived from religious institutions and, eh? despite their claims to have purchased the seminary, go berserk on their way home from church. A substantial mortgage and the property in question is enormous at more than 4,000 square feet. She while the house isn't the largest, the girls that she's involved with, interestingly, her sibling Joy has just placed her home on the marketplace. Thus, Austin and Joy are, in order to be transferring, I am completely blind as to where their previous residence is being vacated. Bought was a gift exchange item that they received. After their marriage, I felt it was residence that Mary had before. Austin, Duggar, and Joy had a whole overhaul. It's not a spacious home with only a few bedrooms, maybe even three, and currently have three children, so I understand. They may be on the verge of outgrowing that house, however, Jan's is really spacious, equipped with five bedrooms, allowing them to plan to have a family. You won't run out of space. A minimum of four atop their own private bedroom. Stephen is an employee of his dad's. Does irrigation and sandblasting what I mean is that he installs sprinkler systems. I am unaware of Jana's intentions, eh? With regards to her intentions to collaborate with, she never really built a rapport with him. Her own professional path when she was, her residence in Tuntown was brought up. The fact that she intended to become a nurse after finishing a few semesters prior to her marriage plans included. I have no idea whether she intends to, Stephen, so stay in school for nursing and if she has decided to transfer to a Lincoln school. I can't help but feel depressed about. Most importantly, she was at last contributing to the field of higher learning. Eh? After her marriage, that aspiration may not materialize, but we'll still need to find out what she'll find fascinating. Nonetheless, her relocation to a new six and half an hour from now, she will be staying in a single occupant residence with. Is Stephen correct? She has grown used to being surrounded by an overwhelming number of individuals she will never have in her whole life. Reach out to every one of her siblings, continually present. It will continue to be much more subdued given that he has a plethora of relatives living nearby, but he may not be physically located close to place his folks call home. And one more detail item I felt compelled to mention is that James, a heartfelt letter was sent by Duggar to her. When I saw my sister's wedding to the 
the one she has always dreamed of has won my heart. Overjoyed, she discovered an incredible, heavenly guy who really praises her in, in every possible manner I had hoped for this day for, for a long time now and I'm really thrilled for you. Eagerly anticipating what the Lord has in store for, shop for you guys, Jana and James were really, that he was so near and I find it endearing. I'm hoping that she finds a boyfriend, it's crazy.